Tonight's top story, investigators following leads on a stolen trailer out of West Plains broke a much bigger case. They found multiple stolen cars, trailers, and weapons. And the Webster County Sheriff describes it as a chop shop case. Eight people have been arrested so far, accused of stripping vehicles and reselling parts. Lauren Schwenker is live in the newsroom with how investigators uncovered all of this. Lauren? Yeah, well, Maria, the Webster County Sheriff tells me that that one incident led to much more and uncovered drugs and property theft. Now, I spoke to the victim of the stolen, stolen trailer who says there was a tracker on the trailer which led investigators to uncover this big case. Sheriff's Office search warrant. I mean, it's kind of mind-boggling. We work hard for everything that we got, you know, just for somebody to try taking it and doing whatever they're going to do with it. That's the voice of Joshua Merrill whose $18,000 trailer was stolen out of West Plains on December 28th after suspects hooked it up to their vehicle and drove away. I called up my GPS tracking system that I had on it and they pinged it up there in Marshville. His tracker led investigators to find his trailer along with so much more. And when we went to that location, we served a search warrant that day and ended up kind of opening up a can of worms. Webster County Sheriff Roy Cole says that led deputies to the 300 block of Timberwood Lane where the owner of Marshfield Salvage was arrested. We ended up with uh, at least four or five different stolen vehicles and multiple trailers, a box trailer and a skid steer, and there ended up being stolen weapons that were also involved. This body cam footage shows deputies arresting 63-year-old Brian Palet, who's been charged with receiving stolen property. We've had eight people arrested so far. I think there's four other that are investigation, and we're, we're looking for tips that may help us solve more cases. Cole says many were chopping up the vehicles and reselling their parts on Facebook Marketplace and other sites. We've certainly had bigger cases before, but this is, this is a very broad one in the sense that we were able to tie them all together. And it's also so unique to open such a can of worms with such a little small lead. As for Merrill, he says he hopes this teaches people a lesson. Maybe they should start getting a job and a earning everything honestly other than taking it. Now, if you know anything about these instances, contact the Webster County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Lauren Schwenker, KY3 News.